What's up guys? So we're at the same canal we were yesterday, but we're a little bit further down the canal. There's actually somebody fishing at that spot we were at yesterday, so we had to come on down the canal. But this spot looks even better because those peacocks like to hang around the bridges, like I was saying in yesterday's video. And there's two bridges right here close by. So we're gonna fish both of these bridges and see if we can't get hooked up on some fish. And I also bought two brand new Rapala X wraps, which are really common bait to catch peacocks on. So um Hopefully we can catch some fish. Let's get to it. Apparently peacocks like bright colors. And so I'm throwing this little uh, X wrap. This one's got some chartreuse with some orange on the back and white on the belly. Um, supposedly this is a good color because whenever I was in Bass Pro and I picked it out, there was a guy there and he was looking for the bait that he caught a big fish on, a big peacock on, I guess, not long ago. And it just happened to be the same exact lure I had in my hand which is this one I have on my rod right now. All right, time to try the other side. He struck it, he struck it. There we go, guys, right here. Right by the bank, he hit it. Eat it, eat it. Oh, it's a large mouth, it's a large mouth. Oh God, that's a large mouth right there. Two pounder, two pound large mouth. Oh my gosh. A two pound large mouth. Let's try the whopper plopper. He might eat it. Crap, I got my X-Rap hung in my bag. That's all right. Wacky Rig Cinco. Cut off his tag in. Always keep one of these in my bag pretty handy. Wacky Rigs are probably one of the most versatile bass fishing lures you can use. They catch big fish, small fish. They work all times of year the dead of winter they work up north they work down south just a great lure tighten up my clinch knot real quick there we go that's gonna catch this large mouth it's gonna catch it first cast well if i could get the i saw one large mouth that seemed interested in my lure and then there's another one just kind of hanging around it's probably about a two pounder or so give or take He's gonna eat it, he's gonna eat it. He doesn't want it. This guy might be on a bed. Wonder if they bed down here this time of year or something. This fish is on a bed. This fish is on a bed. No way. This fish is guarding a bed. Got him. There we go. <laughs> I knew he would eat it. I knew he'd eat that Cinco. There's the other one. <laughs> oh. Might be hard to get down here and get him. Oh, God. There we go, guys. <laughs> I think this fish was on a bed. I kid you not. 
I kept throwing in there and it aggravated him. Little large mouth. Gosh, he's dark from that Florida water. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. There's another one on there. Hold up. Let me let this guy go. Threw him back, right back on the bed. I swear he was on a bed. He kept circling my lure, nosing down. I don't know if the fish down here in the middle of the winter spawn or not. He didn't bite hard either. He just kind of nibbled at it. Oh, there's fry around this little bush area. All kinds of fry. Could have been a fry garter. I don't know. That's funny. Whenever I was catching him, another one just kind of swam off. It was on the other side of this bush or grass, whatever. All right, guys, no more peacocks at this spot. Um, we're gonna have to switch spots. I don't know if we're gonna go to a pond and largemouth fish or we're gonna move on down the canal. We need to make a decision here. But anyway, peacocks are few and far between. I saw one that was probably five or six pounds. Couldn't get him to eat anything. He was right next to the bank. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, guys, so we made it to spot number two here. We're at a pond that we fished last year and caught some good bass. So I need to change my lures up from peacock lures to bass lures. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna catch some fish. Lipless crankbait. It's crazy catching fish on top water in the middle of winter. So we have some windy conditions out here, which means it's a great time to throw this bad boy right here. One of my favorite lures for big pond largemouth is a spinnerbait. All right, I'm gonna move down this pond a little bit, just work my way towards those big condos behind me here. Yeah, towards these big condos right here. Oh, I had one. I had a fish, guys. There's one. First fish of the day. Small one. Last time I was here, I don't even think I caught any this small. Fish number one. Not first fish of the day. Did I say that? Second fish of the day. First fish of the spot. All right, let's go grab the spinner bait. Can't stand fishing with a Cinco when it's so windy like this and I'm in Florida. There's one. Oh, he got off. No, 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 no. Come on. Bite it again, bite it again. I need a trailer hook on this spinner bay, but I left him at home. Crap, that was a good fish. Oh, that makes me mad because I know I probably would have had him if I had a trailer hook. All right, last time I was here, they just crushed the lipless crank for whatever reason. I'm gonna go tie one of those on and hopefully that'll get me bit because this place isn't producing like it was last year. I mean, I had caught 10 fish by now. I know I'm going to do some damage now. Oh, he hit it so hard. There he is. I got one. God, he hit it. Did that fit? No. What happened was, is a fish just hit it. And then he got off and then i hit this big thick grass and i thought it hit again gosh that one fit that fish hit it like a freight train though ah it's frustrating i know this rod's way too stiff if i catch one i, I just i don't even need to set the hook really there's one. Oh my gosh he got off Oh, maybe I'll fish this rattle trap on my spinning rod or something. I don't know. The only other rods I have is a spinning rod with eight pound test and then a bait casting rod with 50 pound test braid.
there's one. Don't get off, buddy. This rod's so stiff. <laughs> I knew you'd get off. First cast with the swim bait, too. Wasn't even recording. They're all small, aren't they? One pounder. There we go. There's one. Come on. Woo! Little guy. He felt big. Oh, I didn't mess up his eye, did I? He's good. Put a single hook bait on. Even with a stiff rod, usually won't rip it out of its mouth. Pretty heavy gauge hook, too. Single hook bait, you're fine, but treble hook bait on a 7.4 heavy, I think, yeah, this 7.4 heavy fast tip, not a good idea. Oh my gosh, guys. I just had a big one. He got off, and I wasn't recording. About a four or five pounder on a chatter bait. Oh my god, right next to the fountain. As soon as I threw it in next to the fountain, as soon as it dropped, like as soon as it hit the water pretty much, he hit it. Oh. There's one. Come on. Don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Come on. Got some soft plastics in my pocket. Let's see. This might work. This honestly might work. The chatterbait was working. That might work. Let's see. Caught a couple of small ones on this earlier. Not sure if the big ones will eat it or not. Give them something different to look at. I haven't casted this bait over here yet, so. There he is. Finally got one of the big ones. Well, this one ain't. He feels decent. No, he's still not a big one. Get up here, buddy. A little bit better than the other ones. Not bad. Pound and a half instead of one pound. There he is. There's a good one. Good fish. Top water, guys. Whopper plopper. No, not a good one. Huh. Hooked him on the outside of the mouth. Woo! Feels so good to catch a fish on top water. Late December. <laughs> it's been a long day of fishing. Haven't had too good of luck today. We fished that canal for a long time and I uh, wasn't able to hook up on a peacock. I saw about a five pounder swimming around, just cruising. Couldn't catch him for some reason. And then I came here and I lost a couple big fish, so that's kind of disappointing. But other than that, I had a great time out here today in Florida, fishing for some largemouth, enjoying the 80, 82 degree weather here in the late December, which is just crazy to me. Uh, back in Virginia, it's probably below freezing right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like down below. And as always, go take someone fishing.